Peter, before we get on to the, the hockey stuff, just wanted to, to get your thoughts on the Bombers uh, taking home the Grey Cup and ending the drought. Yeah, nice. Uh, I think the last time they won was 1990, and I was born in 92, so first time I've seen in my lifetime. Um, excited for them, happy for them, and obviously the city's probably awesome right now, buzz right now. Did you hear anything from friends and family back home? Obviously, we're on the road right now, but uh, did you hear about any of the partying going on? Yeah, no, I got a lot of texts that day. Uh, all my buddies, all my friends, family watching the game at home. So uh, glad everybody got to see it there. Now, as mentioned, on the road right now, uh, in the middle of a seven-game road swing, just want to go back to the past weekend against the Toronto Marlies. Obviously, came out of the wrong side of the score, but it seemed like the club did a lot of good things that weekend. Yeah, no, it felt pretty good about all the games here and there. Uh, Toronto, tough building a plan. Uh, got the two points in Belleville that we needed and then uh, went into Toronto uh, feeling pretty good about ourselves. Uh, obviously, the streak ended there, but but we played some pretty good hockey and we were in both those games right to the bitter end. So, uh, against it's one of the best teams in the league there that I know they haven't lost at home yet. Um, we put up a really good fight in both games and it was really just a bounce here or there that, that uh, gave them the edge. But uh, like I said, feel pretty good, good about our game right now going into Milwaukee. What do these games against top teams do for your club? What, what do they show you in those contests? Yeah, you know, we, we feel like we can, we're a heavy hitter in this league and we can we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. And I think we proved that the other day. Uh, Milwaukee's another good team and you really can't take a night off in this league and especially when you're in your division here. Um, every point is huge and, uh, you know, uh, coming, coming in the other team's um, rink here, uh, the chance to get two points on the road and, and that's huge. Looking at this Milwaukee team, you mentioned playing against top teams. They're the top team in the league right now, running on a 10-game points or a 10-game winning streak. Excuse me. What do you have to do to try and get a team like that out of its groove? You know what? We were just on a, I think seven or eight game ourselves there, and uh, we felt the same way. When you're winning a lot, uh, things kind of come come naturally. You feel pretty confident out there, and, and you seem to get some bounces. So uh, we're gonna have our work cut out for us here. Uh, gonna have to keep the game simple and uh, really take our game to them. If we can force them to play our game, uh, we feel like we should be just fine. And you were you were right there with them the last time you were in this building. Had uh, three leads in that contest before they were able to rack up a few goals in quick succession. Um, what did you see from that first game that you played against the Admirals? Yeah, no, we um, came out strong here, obviously, and uh, and got the lead. Um, I feel when we give up one, we kind of have a little bit of a letdown, and if we can eliminate that, we saw it in Toronto as well, that they scored back-to-back, -back, and uh, if we can just eliminate those back-to-backs uh, and, and uh, take the momentum back to them after giving up a goal, uh, we'll be just fine. Now, how do you bounce back from giving up those quick goals and, and getting the ice turned back the other way? Again, we just feel like we've kind of been a victim of a few bad bounces after we've given up a goal, but uh, to, to give two goals up in succession there is, is always tough, and, and, and then you have an uphill battle the rest of the way. So uh, we really just got to get back to our game right away and, and try to keep things simple after goals, and if we can do that, then uh, we'll eliminate those those back-to-backs and be just fine. It's a pretty packed blue line for your group right now with everybody back and healthy. Uh, the young guys kind of working through a rotation. What have you seen from them as they kind of get through that in their first pro season? No, that's that's great. That's that's what you want. We have a lot of healthy D and everybody can play, obviously, and uh, whoever's in that night is going to be just fine out there. Um, we have confidence in everyone and uh, we have confidence in our entire lineup that regardless of who throws the jersey on that night is going to uh, get the job done. So uh, we have uh, the utmost confidence in anyone that's uh, playing that night. You've you yourself have had a, a ton of different partners already this season. Last time out it was Sammy Niku and sometimes it's been some of the young guys. How do you adjust? Do you have to adjust your game depending on who you're playing with? Yeah, you do. Obviously the side the side that you're on uh, makes a big difference. We have a lot of left-handed or left-handed defensemen, so you'll have to play on the right-hand side. So uh, just transitioning to that's a little bit of a change, but uh, every guy's a little different. Every guy has a little bit of a different style and it's uh, the quicker you can get acclimated to that, the better off you'll be. So. Um, we know everyone out here, we've played with each other enough and practiced with each other enough that you kind of know everybody's style. So um, we're fine playing with whoever we're, we're paired up with on any given night.